Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad, and seeing as Thursday is Thanksgiving here in the US, I figured we would draw a turkey. Turkeys are really unique looking birds, and there's some really cool facts about turkeys that I thought I'd like to share with you as we're drawing. But before we get started, as always, let's make sure that we have all the tools we need to get going. All right, go ahead and make sure you have a clean sheet of paper out. We're gonna need a pencil that's sharpened and has an eraser, or if it doesn't have an eraser, make sure you have some type of eraser handy because we're gonna use our pencil for sketching and then we're gonna go over it with a dark marker or a pen for our outline. And then afterwards, we're gonna go ahead and erase all that sketch from underneath there. And there's gonna be times you're gonna need to just erase in general. So have an eraser handy. And then at the very end, we're gonna do some coloring. So I got my markers out. Maybe you have paints or colored pencils or crayons, whatever you have will work just fine. All right, let's go ahead and just start with our sketch of our turkey here. Now I wanna make sure, I'm gonna draw a male turkey or a boy turkey and I'm gonna make sure that he can fit in this page here because he's got these huge feathers that fan out in the back. I wanna make sure that whole thing fits on my page before I get too much into the details. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw like a half circle for the fan of feathers and then we'll add more details. So make sure you're, you're drawing lightly. Uh, I'm gonna kinda go Maybe about here. I'm gonna just draw a line straight across here. There we go. And then I'm gonna try to do a half a circle right here. Just a little dome shape. There we go. I'm happy with that. You want a big dome. Uh, that we can work off of. And like I said, if we're gonna draw it lightly, that way we can kind of go over and make sure we have all the feathers fitting in just right. But okay, so we have that, so we just wanna make sure we have the size. And next we're gonna draw the body. So this'll be just a simple shape, we'll do like an oval shape. So I'm gonna probably have it go up to about here. I'm gonna have an oval shape, a little bit going about right there. But try to center it and have it overlap just a little bit at the bottom. Now we're going to finesse this shape into, um, that means we're going to change the shape a little bit and make it look a little more accurate to what a turkey might look like, but right now we're just going to get some basic shapes in. There we go. I think that's good for now. All right, I left a little bit of room at the bottom because i got to fit his feet in there. Oh, by the way, do you know what male turkeys are called? You're going to love it. They're called gobblers. <laughs> <laughs> they're called gobblers. And you know why they call them gobblers? It's because they're the only ones that gobble. That's the noise they make. Only the males do the gobbling noise. So they call them the gobblers. And the female turkeys are called hens. I thought that was pretty hilarious and very fitting. Okay, so we got the little legs on the bottom side. I was just kind of fiddling around with those. I'm gonna draw little half circles right here just so you can see the little thighs, little turkey thighs. <laughs> there you go. I don't know, actually that's probably not the thighs, it's probably just the little, uh, where the, the feathers meet the bald little legs there. All right, so we got the, the legs. We could probably, I'll probably just draw those as lines. I'm probably not gonna go and make them any thicker than that. Uh, and then I'm gonna draw my toes, like this, we got three little toes on there, like that. Perfect, okay. Maybe that's a little bit, those are a little bit long, but whatever, <laughs> that's okay. All right, so we got the body, we got the fan of feathers. Now this part is, is deceiving because you think this is like the whole top of the turkey, but it's not. So the head's not gonna go way up here. It's actually gonna go right around here. So let's draw a circle right around there. These are actually a whole nother row of feathers. They got so many feathers and they're really big and round, these, these, these male turkeys. So we're gonna do something like this. Do kind of like a heart shape, like that. Kind of go around, there you go. This all makes sense once we're done. <laughs> all right, we'll do this. Now I was debating on whether even drawing a live turkey or like a turkey that's on a platter and ready to eat for Thanksgiving. Um, but I felt like, you know, might be a little insensitive to our turkey friends. So out of respect for them, we're gonna draw a live one. And to be honest, they're way more interesting. <laughs> a lot more colors and they're really cool. They're really just really neat looking birds. Uh, they're kind of hard to simplify down. That's why 
we're going to have a lot more shapes that you probably didn't expect to draw. Alrighty, so now we're going to do the, uh, let's see, is that too high up? Maybe I'll go a little bit lower. Maybe I'll go a little bit lower here. There we go. A little bit lower because I want to make sure we have the neck. We have room for that neck on here. Okay, let's do the neck of our turkey. And I'm just going to kind of go like, follow that back of the head because it's going to be looking this way so we can see the beak. Something like that. There we go. Then over here, we'll do kind of the same kind of thing. They got skinny necks. <laughs> and go like that. And then at the bottom, they have these funky little shapes at the bottom. So we'll kind of just do it like that. And that's kind of showing where the end of their, their neck is. Because their neck and their head don't have any feathers. Uh, there's the, the rest of their whole body is covered in giant, amazing feathers. But their head and their neck don't. So the head and neck of a turkey can actually change colors of a male turkey, I should say. They can go from red to white to blue even. And so I'm going to go with the blue because I think it'll be fun to draw on here. But I felt like that was pretty funny that it was red, white, and blue because I always heard the story. I'm going to go ahead and draw the beak while, we're, while I'm telling you. But I always heard the story that when the founding fathers were trying to come up with an animal to represent the U.S., to go on like our, our seal for the U.S. that represents us, that they chose... Um, they chose an eagle, a bald eagle, but Ben Franklin proposed that it should be a turkey, which I always thought was pretty funny that it, that it could have been a turkey. Um, but I don't know how true that is. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure how true that is, but I just thought that was kind of funny since their heads can actually turn red, white, and blue. I was like, how patriotic. Maybe they should have been the, the represented on our seal for the country. They are pretty tough birds. They are pretty tough birds. They have a pretty strict pecking order on who's in charge, and they're willing to fight to keep <laughs> to keep whoever's in, supposed to be in charge in charge. All right, so what we're drawing is here. So I drew the beak on the side here. It's gonna be looking off to the side. Now you can draw this as big or as small as you want. We can you can exaggerate it a little bit. Now this is your waddle. That's what they have under there. They call it a waddle, and then they actually have something on top called a snood. Which I felt was really interesting. So I'm going to draw it right here. Sometimes you'll see it. I've, let's just say it's on the other side. But sometimes they kind of go over the beak like that. Should we draw that? I guess we could draw that. Let's try that again. Let's try that. Okay. So I have the little snood. Let's do that. Let's have it come over and come up right there. Over the beak a little bit. If you don't want to add this, you don't have to. But they have these little funky bit of skin that goes right over top of their, right over top of their beak. <laughs> it's probably a little hard for you to see there, but I like I like uh, I like how it looks. And so just make sure you have a beak, and then you have a little bit that's going to go over top of the beak, and there's a piece that hangs underneath called this. It's called the waddle, waddle snood. Those are funny names, aren't they? <laughs> and then we're going to draw a big eyeball right here. Draw a circle. And then we're going to draw another littler circle inside for the pupil, or the middle part of your eyeball. Looking down over there. Perfect. All right, let's keep moving. So what's this bit in the back? That's going to be more of their feathers that are in the back. So we'll keep those right there. Maybe we'll make them a little bit wider. Because we want a big, healthy looking turkey. <laughs> OK, now what do I, what do I want to do here? Oh. Here on the bottom, I might just kind of flatten it out a little bit at the bottom there. You can add whatever shape you want afterwards. Once you have the main shapes, then you can kind of tweak it to whatever you feel you want to do. So I might actually bring this down earlier so that I can get it to kind of flow into the rest of the body. All right. Okay, let's work on the – we'll go back to this. Oh, wait, wait. Let's do the, the wings, and then we'll go to the, the big feathers in the back. Let's do these wings. There we go. Just little curves right there. Nothing too fancy. We'll do the same thing over here. Now, do you think turkeys can fly? I honestly didn't think that they could fly. I never. I guess I never seen a turkey fly. Kind of like I never thought a peacock could fly, but they can. And it's probably similar to a peacock where they just don't fly very far, but they can fly. So. Wild turkeys can definitely fly. And they can fly really fast. They just can't fly very far. Which I thought was pretty amazing. 
I'm gonna add a few little lines in there for the, just to show that we have feathers there. And now we're ready for these big feathers in the back. So I'm gonna start with a line right down the middle. All right, and so if I wanna make these, I wanna make these even on both sides. So I'll start with kind of one right down the middle, and then I'm gonna add a few more, maybe like four lines or something like that. So go one, and try to have them kind of radiate from the middle of this. So if you wanna put a little point on there, if it helps you kind of see where that, that feather would go, that might help. And then you can just erase it later. Something like that. There we go. Then not to be perfect. Maybe you want more feathers than that, and you can definitely do that. Sometimes if you just have that point, it just helps you kind of align it with something. And then we'll do another one right over here. Awesome. Now we're going to add our little rounded edges like this onto the outside of each of them like that. We'll keep going. It's getting kind of wobbly on me because I'm drawing over these the spiral binding here. All right. Oh, look at that. That looks pretty good, huh? All right, so next, go ahead and just erase the, <clears throat> the lines that's right here in those little curves because we're not going to color those in. We're going to make our own lines. <sighs> All right, there we go. So now we can go in and start adding some more details. So I'm just going to copy that same curve we we'll just do it down a bit and go all the way around. And I'm going to start doing a few more of these little designs, but I'm going to chat with you about turkeys uh, while we do it. So just follow along here. I'm going to add some, I'm going to do multiples of these because we want to kind of have striped, a uh, striped look on these feathers and we're going to do different colors, which will be a lot of fun. But turkey stuff. Oh, you know what? There's a turkey myth that I debunked. Um, well, I personally didn't debunk it. I, I looked it up and found out I was wrong. But uh, I always thought and always heard that turkeys, when you eat a turkey, it makes you tired, it makes you sleepy because of, uh, because of a certain protein that's inside the turkey. So I thought, it, I thought that's why you always got tired after like Thanksgiving, but that's probably just because you ate a ton of food. <laughs> the, the myth, apparently it's a myth and it doesn't make you drowsy or fall asleep if you eat a turkey. And here I was blaming the turkey every single every single Thanksgiving. So why do we use the turkey? Why do we eat a turkey on Thanksgiving? Why is it so popular on Thanksgiving? I was really curious because I was, I was wondering if it was like the pilgrims when they had the first Thanksgiving. I wonder if that's what they ate there. And they could have, but it sounds like historians have said that probably they just had like a goose or something. Or it's just as likely that they had like a goose or something else or a pheasant or another type of bird. They didn't, doesn't mean they exactly had a turkey. But I think people love the taste of turkey. And there have been reports and accounts and stories from pilgrims back in the day that they would go hunting for turkeys. And so I think they kind of associated with that. And... Now we have turkeys every every year for Thanksgiving. Well, at least my family does. I'm not sure if your family does something different. Um, but yeah, and turkey tastes good. We like turkey. All right, and it's, and it's better for you. It's better for you than a lot of other <laughs> meats that you have. So that's good, I guess. All righty, well, I think I can just go in and start outlining this. Um, we got to do some maybe little feathers here in the front. Now, one thing I'm going to... I'm not going to draw, I don't know if I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to draw. This is going to be, draw some of the little feathers like that. Maybe it's like, yeah, it's like little waves in the front. What I was, you know, they kind of split in the front, their chest, and they have what's called a little beard that comes right out their chest. And it looks kind of like this, just tr 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 lots of hair. If you want to add that, sure, that's fine. If, if you don't want to, I'm probably not going to add it. Um, you don't have to. but. I just thought that was kind of a crazy. I never really noticed it, but they have a big beard that comes right out the chest of a male turkey. I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, okay, 
Well, I'm going to start outlining now. I'll start with the, the main big feathers in the back, maybe. Did you know that turkeys are omnivores? Do you know what an omnivore is? That's right. That means they eat both meat and plants. An herbivore just eats plants. A carnivore just eats meat. And an omnivore eats both. So are people, are humans omnivores or carnivores? Probably depends on the person you ask, but we are omnivores because we eat both. So turkeys actually eat, they can eat, so they'll eat, you know, uh, seeds and things, but they'll also eat insects, frogs, and, and even lizards, which I didn't know that. I'm going to have to tell you a funny story about a turkey here real quick. So if I'm going too fast for you, I always can pause and you can catch up. Um, but while I'm doing this, I was going to tell you a really quick story. So my neighbors, growing up, I always played out in the neighborhood. We always rode our bikes or skateboarded or rollerbladed or whatever all around our neighborhood. And my friends lived just down the, down the block. And before I was friends with them, I didn't know what this was. There was always this turkey sound. Something would be like gobbling, making that gobbling noise uh, in someone's backyard. And we didn't know what it was. We all, we all thought it was a turkey. So every time we go ride, every time we go ride our bikes or anything past that house, we're like, I think they have a turkey in their backyard. Well, when I actually became friends with the people that own that house, I found out that the turkey was not a turkey. They did have an animal back there, but it was a dog, and the little dog sounded just like a turkey. It would gobble just like a turkey. Every time it barked, it was not a bark, it was a gobble. <laughs> it was the funniest, this little white dog. And so we always joked that somebody had a turkey back there, but it was really just my friend's dog. Isn't that hilarious? I wonder, what's, wonder where that dog learned to gobble like that. Maybe it had a lot of turkey friends or something. Maybe it was raised by turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Alrighty, well, I'm going to keep going through here and finishing up the outline. Uh, I don't, for the sake of time, I'm going to just uh, maybe stop here and let you guys do the rest of it on your own. And then I'm going to get into coloring and uh, we'll just catch up right at the end of this. How does that sound? Awesome. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and finish all that and then we'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll catch up right after. My turkey is finished. Oh, I didn't even think of a name for my turkey this whole time. Male turkeys are called gobblers. Maybe, you know what? I'm gonna call mine Benjamin. Benjamin, because I do think Benjamin Franklin proposed that the turkey be the national national bird for the U.S. So I'll say Benjamin. <laughs> I think that'll be pretty fun. But hopefully you guys had a fun time drawing your turkey. I think I got a little carried away with the, with the browns, but uh, overall it's a lot of fun. And my favorite part, my favorite part of this is that blue head. I love that pop of blue on there. And in real life, you should look at pictures of, of male turkeys, you'll see the big blue head, which is really quite striking. So anyway, I'm excited with how, uh, how this turned out and I'm really um, proud of it. So hopefully you're proud of yours as well. And we always need to sign our work after we're finished so everybody knows that we're proud of it and that it's ours. Alrighty, well, I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Those of, for those of you who are here in the U.S. celebrating Thanksgiving, I hope you guys have a wonderful time thinking of all the things that you're grateful for. I think now more than ever, it's important to think about what we're grateful for, especially during this pandemic when Thanksgiving may look a little different for you. I know it does for us, and I know so many people, it's so hard to, to get together in, in groups where that's typically what we like to do for Thanksgiving, is be around family and friends, and I know that's gonna be hard this year, so. I hope you can stay positive and remain grateful for all the things that you have. And uh, I'm grateful for just you guys being here and drawing with me. I absolutely love it. And uh, 
I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. And remember, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be you. Alrighty, we'll see you guys next time.